Michael, the moment we met 11 years ago, I thought, did he really just ask me if we went to the same college having had been neighbors? Despite that initial conversation, I agreed to a date. You had me at date three, and I vividly remember when I said to myself, I'm gonna marry this guy. It was the exact moment you said to me, just tell me you love me already, because I know you do. In that moment, I smiled as you seemed to have just read my mind. You were always tapped into how I was feeling. You made me feel protected and taken care of, and you knew how to make me laugh from the pit of my stomach. The wind blows through your hair As you walk a deeper stair Up the block and down the street To North King's Highway Throughout it all, no matter what happened the decade after that year, you were always my constant. At times, even when I tried to push you away, there you were, sending flowers to my apartment to remind me of you, or ask me out for a coffee date just to catch up. It is that unwavering dedication and passion to go after what you want I admire most about you and I'm so grateful for. Jamie, the first time I met you at GW, I lied. I pretended not to know who you were, but I 100% did. The truth was, I was just awestruck by your beauty and at a loss of words. I will never forget our first date. I was kind of shy and a little awkward, and you must have asked me a thousand questions. I remember you told me you were not looking for a boyfriend, maybe just a rebound. Initially, I was okay with that, but then quickly realized that I wanted something way more. I knew I was in love with you from the very beginning, we could spend hours hanging out together, doing absolutely nothing but having the best time. I wasn't shy about telling you either. I would scream, I love you, out of my car door every time I dropped you off in front of your dorm room, even if you would run away so embarrassed. I always knew we would end up together, and that it was just a matter of when. No matter how hard I tried not to talk to you during our off periods, I couldn't resist calling you because hearing your voice made me happy. There's something to be said about the colors in your head How they mixed up I want to spend my forever with you and I'm so in love with you with every part of who I am. Even the smallest parts of who you are make me happy in the biggest of ways. I love when you call me just to see if I drank enough water in a given day. I love before when you get into bed you do this strange dance move and look to see if I was watching. I love that when I say quirky things you give me a snarl but later on I hear you repeating it as if it was your own. You are my person and you have my heart. And because of you, I learned to be more selfless. I learned to have more patience. And I learned to look at situations through an optimistic lens. You challenge the way I process and analyze and always keep me on my toes. You help me to be a better team player while building up my own individual character. Most of all, I learned the feeling of a true best friend, life partner, and love. Just like all those ready lights. Just like all those ready lights. I promise to never take any of that for granted. I also promise to always make you order dessert, but eat the entire thing, and to watch Animal Planet shows even if I don't want to. Most importantly, I promise to create a life for us of unexpected and strange adventures, and at the end of the day, kiss you 10 times before we go to sleep for good luck. You have always been my forever love, but today, that finally becomes official. I couldn't be happier to go through life holding hands with you by my side. I love you. I've always loved you for the person who you are and the great mother I know you will be. Your passion, your strength, and sometimes your little bit of crazy all make you the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. You never give up when you are determined to accomplish something. You love with your whole heart, and no matter what, I know you will always be there for me in my biggest support in tough times. I promise to always be there for you and always to protect you. I promise to try to clean up the house once in a while and not to leave my shoes in front of your bed. I promise to always make you laugh and smile and try to calm you down every time you're anxious. I also promise that I will call you every second of the day just to hear your voice, even though I really have nothing to say. I promise to let you always wear your eye mask and earplugs to sleep, even if it is a little weird, because the happiest part of my day is waking up right next to you. I promise that no matter what happens in our life, I will always be there for you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with my best friend forever. I love you. I could
could find my way back home But I get lost alone I'm with you, I can finally breathe